Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm just giving you guys an update on the Gold Shell HS Lite. And yes, this thing is extremely quiet because of the fans, all right? This is not your typical ASIC minor fans, you know, high airflow Delta fans. I would say that these really don't pump out that much air. There is a decent amount of heat coming out, but then again, the amount of power that this Gold Shell HS Lite uses is not that much compared to, let's say, an S19J, you know, those Bitcoin ASIC miners, as this thing mines Handshake and Sia Coin. And right now, I have it mining Sia Coin, and also I have it plugged in on a 120 volt, 15 amp breaker, or 120 volt outlet here, and it's using about 706 watts right now mining Sia coin. And in case some people are wondering, yes, it does work, all right, plugging it in a regular wall socket in the wall, but you have to be mindful. You do need the C19 or C20 adapter going into a C14 cable, or if you can find the C19 to, I believe it is a NEMA plug that just goes into a regular 120 volt outlet, right? Just like this. So then you can run this anywhere in your house, assuming, you know, you're not using any more than, you know, your typical 1800 watts, but 80% rule, you know, you want to do around 1400, 1500 watts at your typical circuit, 15 amp, 120 volt circuit. All right. So you have to be mindful how much power you're going to be using. You know, if you're going to be plugging this into where your TV is, or maybe a place in your kitchen that has the same circuit as your microwave, you most likely will not be able to run this at the same time. Okay, so you just have to find an outlet in your house that you're not using other appliances or anything else in the same room in order to run this as, yes, 700 watts for mining Sia coin, but then around 1350 for mining Handshake. All right, that's the other algorithm that this HS Lite can mine, which I already did a review video of this. You guys can see that link down below to see that if you're interested. But the whole point of this video is to show you the profits that this thing has generated over the past week. So very quick, actually, Gold Shell on their website, they do sell this for $32.99 and it is in stock. But I did have a disclaimer in the video that I did a review of comparing it to an RTX 3090 that at that time when I did that video, the RTX 3090 does make more than this Gold Shell HS Lite, you know, comparing it to the uh, power consumption and the wattage. So here we go, mining Handshake on the HS Lite. You can see here, I did it for about five days, but there was, let's see, the first day doesn't count because it wasn't a full day. The second day here was a full day of mining, so we mined about 29 Handshake. The next day, my internet went out, and so I only mined 19 handshake that day. The next two days here were full two days, and so we got 30 handshake and 26 handshake. So that is the numbers there, and so that's roughly, according to what I did with the last video that I did, this ASIC miner is actually very quiet, that's the review video I did, and at that time the profitability was around 31 handshake a day. And so the profitability was about $2.43 after electric. If you had free electric, it would have been $5.43. And so you can see here, it's generally around the same as it was when I did that video. But one thing to keep note of is the Handshake network hash rate is climbing up decently. Okay, so as more and more of these HS lights come on the network, or maybe other Handshake ASICs, then the difficulty is going to be going up. Thus, everyone is going to be getting less and less of the rewards. So if handshake price doesn't go up, then profitability is probably going to go down as more and more of these come online. Okay, now I want to show you guys my Sia coin profitability here. So I have it mining on F2 pool right now, and it looks like it's been going just fine. And looking at my Sia coin wallet, oh, I got to log in here. Okay, so looking at my Sia coin here, my RPM HS Lite wallet. So keeping track of this guy, and so far it's mined 837 Sia coin, or $7.23 USD. But looking at the daily amount that it mines, it shows here I had a good full day already. So the first day, I have to say, doesn't count. 
but the March 14th, it shows 392 SIA coin, about $3.40 worth. Now, if I go to the old video that I did last week and we check out the profitability of that, I was supposed to mine about 502 SIA coin a day or $4.38 worth. So that has, that's not the same, all right? So yeah, we're missing about another 100 SIA coin and maybe another dollar a day. So one thing I'm going to attribute that to is the SIA coin network hash rate. So the difficulty for SIA coin, you can see here, it has been going up. Okay, uh, sorry, the network hash rate is now at 29 petahash as of recording this video, March 14th. But you can see here, look at this. It was like 24 petahash like four days ago. And even before that, like two weeks ago, it was at 19 petahash. So you can see here, the network hash rate for SIA coin has been going up drastically. So that is why, literally from last week when I made that video till now, the profitability and the rewards that I've been getting on, the, on this HS Lite has been getting much less now. So has the price of SIA coin, you know, done anything? Not really, not really. So as more and more of these gold shell HS lights come on the network, the same, the same idea when I was talking about it with Handshake, then the network becomes more difficult and everyone's gonna be getting less and less of the rewards. Now in the profitability aspect, if the price of the coin, right, see a coin does not go up, then the profitability technically is gonna be worse, right? And it's gonna look worse as you know, you're looking at the dollar value and then your yields, right? It's, it's just gonna be getting less and less as more and more people come online the network. Anyways guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you the numbers in case some people were interested. It's still mining SIA coin. Oh, one thing I wanted to take note is I did have it connected to the Wi-Fi and it was actually bad. The Wi-Fi signal on this thing is horrible. So if you're not close to your router, this is not gonna connect to the Wi-Fi very well. Actually, I had very intermittent connection issues as there is no like Wi-Fi antenna or anything I could find on this thing. And so the signal was just horrible. It was much more stable with the network cable. So be mindful of that. If you are gonna get this and you're, gonna, you're thinking of using it on Wi-Fi, it didn't really work that well for me. But the great thing is, is that you can run this on typical 120 volt or 240 volts. You know, in, the, in that review video that I did, I did run this on my 240 volts, 30 amp uh, PDU. So that was all well and good, really nice and efficient, but you can run it on a typical power plug. So now guys, that's it. That's it for this thing. I'm actually gonna be boxing this up and I'm gonna be sending it to good old DJ Mines. He is another crypto mining YouTuber, guys. Go subscribe to him. I'm going to be shipping this out to him. He's going to be reviewing it for a while and do some videos on it as uh, he wanted to test it out. And I was like, yes, DJ Mines, I will gladly, gladly send this to you, my friend. And so I got the original box, of course. I'll pack it in this box. DJ Mines, you will see something like this, okay, man? And uh, hopefully this will come to you in good fashion and hopefully it will do well for you. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. Please let me know if anyone has maybe purchased one of these. Give me your reasons why. I wanna know why some people may have purchased this. I was uh, reading some like crypto Twitter and uh, yeah, some people did purchase it from what I've been hearing, but there has to be a reason other than, you know, maybe you like Sia coin or you like Handshake, you like mining those two coins or you just believe in the price discovery of those two coins in the future, I'm not quite sure. For me personally, I don't know much about Handshake or Sia coin, so I can't really give any opinions on purchasing something like this. You guys will have to do your own research when buying stuff like this. I mean, that goes along with anything, really, with any type of ASIC miner, and I've expressed that in many of my ASIC videos. Like, literally, buying these types of things are expensive, especially now, and even more so last year. ASIC prices were even more last year, right? As these things were extremely profitable, but right now, 
this thing is only making like a couple bucks a day. And so if you believe that this will do much better in the future, then so be it. I guess one of the greatest pros of this thing is that it's quiet. You can plug it in, a typical wall outlet, right? Like this, 700 watts mining Sia coin, but then 13, 1400 watts mining Handshake. So that's really two good things that is going for this Gold Shell HS Lite uh, for me personally, as I see it. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a good one and peace out. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna ship it to DJ Mines right now. DJ Mines, I will send you the power cable, my friend, don't worry. I'll send you both the adapter and uh, the 120 volt cable. It's, it's just a typical, this is just a typical power cable for like a PC. I'm sure you have a million of these at home and then it goes into a typical uh, typical 120 volt plug, just like that. Okay, peace guys. Peace. Well, later.